the Halloween way, but in the sense of totally surrendering to stillness, to peace, to relaxation, to whatever the experience entails. But believe it or not, Shavasana is actually a really advanced posture. And it's not always easy to be still and to relax. So with a few tips, hopefully you'll learn to love your Shavasana. So as you can see, David, Shavasana is typically done on your back with your legs long and your palms facing up. But you can always do it on your side in a fetal position or on your belly with your palms stacked and your forehead resting on your hands or with one ear on the floor and your arms alongside you. If it's not comfortable to have your legs long, you can always have your feet on the floor and let your knees fall in toward one another. Otherwise, you can have your legs long and let your toes flop out to the sides. If you still need some relief in your lower back, you can place some blocks underneath the backs of your thighs. And if you need even more de decompression in your lower back, you can always put some blocks underneath your heels. So at home you can do this with couch cushions, blankets, towels, or you can even put your shins up on a chair or your couch. So once you set up your legs, you'll give your tailbone a little tuck. Just so that you have some length in the lower back, but you still want the natural curves in your spine with a bit of space between the lower back and the floor. As for your arms, they can be alongside you with your palms facing up. But if that doesn't work for you, you can have your palms on your belly to feel your breath. Or you can have one hand on your heart and the other hand on your belly to feel the movement of your heart and your breath. But if you do decide to have your arms alongside you, turn your palms to face up. And play with the distance of your arms from your body so that you can feel your shoulders easily soften down your back and you feel open across your chest. So for some of you, you might have to have your arms as high as your shoulders even. You might even need to bend your elbows to take a cactus arms to feel open across the chest. A personal favorite is halfway cactus arms with your elbows halfway between your shoulders and your hips. But whatever you decide, just find a way with your arms alongside you, your palms up, to give each shoulder blade a tuck so that you feel open across your chest. Lastly, you'll tuck the chin a little so that the back of your neck is long. If you find with your chin tucked still that there's a lot of space between the back of your neck and the floor, that your nose is tilted quite high up toward the ceiling, or that you just feel pressure in your neck and shoulders, it's probably a good idea to place something underneath your head. You might use something like a block if you feel a lot of pressure. Otherwise, a rolled up towel behind your neck or head is perfectly awesome solution. So you'll give your chin a little tuck to feel the length through the back of your neck, feel your head heavy. And lastly, your eyes, they can be open with your gaze blurry if that's more comfortable.